normally people can't get to see behind the scenes when you're getting ready for an operation, but I've seen you spend ages scrubbing your hands. <laughs> You must be very clean. Or very dirty. <laughs> um, uh, it's really important when you do surgery to have a sterile, a sterile uh, a theatre area as you can, and one of that is me when I'm going into theatre and obviously I'm with my hands right next to the wound. And the gloves obviously are sterile and protective, but uh, if there's a puncture wound in the glove or there's some issue with sterility there, I need to have clean as sterile hands. Now, sterile is is a word that suggests no bacteria, and that's never gonna be possible when you scrub. But we use the scrubs, either chlorhexidine or iodine, so one of those two, um, to reduce the bacterial load on our hands. Uh, it's important not to scrub too hard. So if I use the really rough brush and went really hard on my hand, I actually bring out more bacteria. So you need to just have the contact and just kind of gently make sure it contacts everything for a period of time to reduce the bacterial load. That way, when I put gloves on and then I do surgery, I'm reducing the risk of infection. So we find in theatre here that we would get, in a, in a clean surgery, so a, one that doesn't have any risk of contamination from the wound itself, we would get less than 1% risk of infection. That's pretty good. It's up there with any of the human, probably better than a lot of the human hospitals. I was going to say it's better yeah. than some of the human ones. So when people are thinking about hygiene with their own pets at home, mm. well, what would be your tips there? Well, it's always important to be uh, washing your hands after you've handled the, your pet before you go and eat or do something where your hands are in your, near your mouth. There are quite a few diseases that potentially can cross between the species. Uh, some of them, so for instance from birds, you have to watch out for psittacosis mm. would be one. This ringworm is one that you can pick up from your pet, so if you have a, a young, usually young puppy or kitten with ringworm, you have to be careful how you handle it and, and how clean you are with washing your hands because you can get uh, the lesions on you as well and that's often you know, around the tummy usually people around their arms that people are cuddling their pets and they can pick up diseases like that so you need to be a little careful with keeping your hands clean after you've handled your pets. Soap and water? Uh, that's all I would recommend initially I you know I think you can overdo all of the uh, antibacterial treatments that people use at home I think you don't necessarily need to use that unless you've got a specific disease that your vet says you need to use this particular hand cleaner but in general for soap and water. Yeah.